so let us start with just looking at this second rule which is actually the inverse of the product rule so if you have this differentiation of a product you have d u v and what do you get u differentiate v plus v differentiate u okay now if i keep this as it is i can bring that to this side so i can write it like this i can write u dv is d of uv minus v du and so if i put an integral symbol on top then i need to put an integral symbol here and an integral symbol there but this is reasonably good because it is integral of a d integral of a d cancels out so that means this goes away so it gives us a statement that looks like this so how do we remember it integral u dv now u is a function v is a function right is uv and then flip minus v du okay so integral u dv is product of these two minus just a flip right now in certain situations this dv is the same as x but in other cases actually this dv won't be hanging around like that let's take an example okay so suppose i want to do let us say integral x cos x dx you push something inside when you push something inside so you take one of these two and push it inside then the point is you have a u and you have a v so you can multiply the two and flip and your question you should really ask before you proceed is if i push cos x inside don't worry about this part because this part is already integrated out however complicated a multiplication is just a multiplication so what should you ask when i flip it is it going to be harder or easier that's really the question let us take let's before we solve let's think about this cos x goes inside becomes d sin x so what is it going to look like integral x d sin x forget the multiplication x sin x flip it if you flip it x goes inside the d and sin x comes out so what do you get integral sin x dx now is that easy okay so that's what you should do but hold on instead of pushing the cos x in i could have started off by pushing the x in what will happen i will end up with cos x d x square so when i flip it x square comes out and cos x goes inside so now i have integral x square d cos x so I, then when cos x comes out it will become sin x with minus plus don't worry about that so you're going to end up with x square sin x dx which is harder looking than this fellow bad idea so don't push the x inside so do you understand the logic of it it's a very simple logic i can push something inside because i need something inside you will learn in school not in this form you will learn it as some u v dash and so on but ultimately is this the dash of something is this a differentiation of something yes is this the differentiation of something yes so can i treat this as a differentiation of something yes which one x square by 2 leave out the factor of 2 so if this is a differentiation of something it can go inside as d of x square without worrying about the factors similarly this is the differentiation of sin x so when it goes inside it will become d of sin x so you can push anything you want inside and then the key idea is when you flip does the answer become harder or does the answer become easier okay now of course you know that in this case it is better to push cos x inside rather than push x inside because once x goes inside it becomes x square flip will give you x square sin x dx as the integral which is harder to deal with than this we will later find that that's also useful okay even if it gets harder sometimes it turns out to be useful but that's a second trick at this point push this fellow inside so what do you get x d sin x and when you are integrating remember don't focus when you are starting final answer of course needs to focus on minus plus 2 half all of those factors but when you are thinking about which way to go don't worry about the factors 
don't worry about uv these are all the easy parts worry about whether you have a root to your final answer from this when i get here does this look easier can you solve it then go ahead with that step okay so okay so now this is product x sin x minus while for the final answer this is important it is not very after a point you know that you can multiply and always get this focus on the next part which you still have to do this is still homework to finish okay so what is this flip sin x dx now sin x dx of course you know is minus cos x or if i take put a minus and take that minus inside minus sin x will give me cos x okay so therefore the answer is x sin x plus cos x plus a constant c is the idea clear so very simple push one of the fellows inside why did we learn substitution approach by pushing things inside so that we can use it here otherwise this formula looks very much more messy it won't come out naturally so take this stuff outside push it inside the d you get it as d sin x now the question is simple multiply so just multiply the two and flip the two multiply minus flip that's actually this rule multiply minus flip okay multiply of course is without an integral the flip means you have to do the integral okay so that is the basic idea in general it turns out that inverse trigonometric functions you must push it late okay last don't push the inverse trigonometric function inside l stands for logarithm don't push logarithm inside a algebraic like x x square etc okay push it before you can push logarithm but if possible avoid that also well if you got trigonometric push that inside but if you got exponential push that inside first okay inverse late so that must be the last one so i late is a rule to keep in mind okay so inverse functions push it at the end in fact never push it of the two which one do you push inside first if there was an exponential push it in first if there was a trigonometric function push it in next and then suppose i have an exponential and trigonometric first push the exponential why should you push the exponential e power x goes inside as e power x it does not even change so whether it's inside or outside it won't make a difference right suppose i had x e power x dx e power x can go in and come out with no problem the complexity has not increased because e power x went in with trigonometric the complexity does not significantly increase cos becomes sin it's not the same but it does a little bit of change so we keep it for a little later secant square will go inside become tan okay so we'll do trigonometric a little later than exponential algebraic does become a little bit more complex x square goes in becomes x cube x power 5 goes in it becomes x power 6 so x power 6 is a little bit more complex we can say compared to x power 5 so you don't want whatever goes in to increase complexity because then when you flip it the complex stuff comes out right when you're flipping v becomes the stuff you need to integrate so generally algebraic push it in a little later logarithm avoid as much as possible okay so in this case what will i push in e power x how let's try to quickly do this integral x d e power x multiply and flip okay what is this e power x so the answer is x e power x minus e power x plus constant is it clear now for most questions this is itself good sometimes you don't know what to push but whether you push anything or not there's already something inside the d what is inside the d x is always inside the d so for example if i get a question like this tan inverse x dx i can't push anything inside tan inverse don't push at all but there's already an x so just simply multiply and flip 
this also a, this is a u this is a v doesn't look very much like a diff complicated v but it's a simple v it's there so what if what will happen if i multiply x tan inverse x minus flip x d tan inverse x okay what is d tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square so this will basically become x by 1 plus x square dx now remember all of these will keep getting repeated however complicated this is the amount of time you devote to writing should not tell you how much time you should devote to thinking this doesn't require any thinking at all the thinking must be devoted to this fellow the problem sometimes when you're writing is our brain focuses on what you write and sometimes you're just copying stuff so you're not thinking you don't have to think very much but you're spending a lot of time copying it so your brain spends a lot of time on that part okay but your brain should not worry about it it should just worry about this of course that you should not make a mistake but it's just a copying it's nothing to think now what do you do here ah so put the x inside now but now it's not a you're not going to flip it's a straight forward question so put a 2 and put a half push the 2x inside what will happen d of x square once you get d of x square it's easy to get d of x square plus 1 just add a 1 and so d of x square plus 1 by x square plus 1 ln of x square plus 1 so the answer to this question is x tan inverse x minus ln of 1 plus x square by 2 half of it the half is for the ln okay plus constant c is the idea clear yes. 